how does Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church fit into the grand scheme? It depends on your spiritual perspective, of course. A lot of people have very simplistic perspectives saying that they are spiritual trash. But I choose to look deeper. I choose to not make it so simple. One possible perspective is that of people like Wayne Dyer and Carolyn Miss. They're both new age in their view of the world. Both of them, although they may put it a little bit differently, essentially believe that everyone here has a purpose. Everyone here came here intentionally. And even evil people have a divine purpose. They say evil people are here to help the good people become stronger. For example, if somebody's a bully, they are doing that to give you courage to resist. An inner strength. Like the saying goes, that which does not kill me only makes me stronger. They believe that to the fullest logic, everything that happens to you that's bad is really good. So in their view, nothing is bad. Even people like Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church, to them, it are not bad at all. They would probably say, they are here to teach us love. Certainly it wouldn't seem like it on the surface, but in the grand scheme they would say, they have this mission to push all that hate so we can better understand the hate inside us and thus react with love. It's definitely very challenging for most people to react in that way. I believe one concept in Buddhism is very interesting when applied to Westboro Baptist Church. The concept of emptiness is a key Buddhist concept. I never understood this concept until I read the book Hardcore Zen. The book explained emptiness as simply seeing something as it is without putting your personal subjective view into it. And that's similar to that book I read on projections where people view others and also things the way they want them to be viewed rather than the way they actually are. And this can be for better or for worse. Buddhists and the like say it's very hard to not put your own view into something and thus to achieve that state of emptiness is a high state. Pretty much everybody wants the world to be something. Some psychologists and definitely Buddhists say we need to accept the world the way it is. I have certain views of the world that I want to occur and there are some things I find very challenging to accept. I too have not been in line with emptiness. I have definitely viewed things in the way I wanted them to be. I have long been idealistic. And the Buddhists say we need to be realistic, not idealistic. And that's one lesson I have realized in recent times. A lot of people think Westboro Baptist Church is terrible, 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 terrible. But I see a very idealistic side, and I think that's the root of their hate in many cases. They have very puristic views. They believe you shouldn't get divorced. In this society, that's virtually unthinkable. Divorce happens all the time. Now, it's not ideal, but it happens. They say divorce 
plus remarriage equals adultery. That is a very hard standard to live up to. Very few are going to do that. They also say we shouldn't get money involved in religion. Another great idea, but it's very hard to live up to in the real world. Most century, most central to their approach is how they see the world in such black and white. Dan Barker put it as fundamentalists only see hot or cold. And these are the strongest fundamentalists around. They are those who see it the most. I forget what website what, which said it, but one website said they are the fundamentalists of the fundamentalists, which in some ways is definitely true. They don't like how the world doesn't obsess with homosexuality the way they do. I also forget the website. I saw it somewhere, but a person put it. Fred Phelps says anyone is a gay enabler who does not rip off heads of gays. Now, he's not doing that. But I think that website had a great point. Unfortunately, I can't give you the address. I don't recall that. Essentially, that website is right, but we could tweak it a little bit. Fred Phelps believes that anyone who doesn't rant and picket homosexuality nonstop 24 7 is a gay enabler. It's virtually impossible to not be called that by Westboro Baptist Church. It is because they are so obsessed with it, they can't accept that the world doesn't reject it to the same obsessive level that they do, thus, they have to fill it. Emptiness is a good term. And it seems like Westboro Baptist Church is filling every single possible space. They can't accept the world the way it is. The world does not live up to their idealistic standards. So they got to fill it. One of the most telling videos of theirs is their Bush is a gay pimp video. Now they use harsher terms than gay but I'm not one who likes the slurs, so I'm not going to use it myself. I find the video really interesting and entertaining. Fred Phelps says that George W. Bush is the number one gay recruiter in America. Most people would find that absurd. The number one gay recruiter in America? What about Advocate Magazine or all of the gay and lesbian organizations? Wouldn't they be higher than Bush? What they do is they find one inch that somebody advances in the opposite direction. They take it for 10 million miles. George Bush point, appointed Michael Guest to some ambassador post, post to Romania. And he was gay. So that makes him the number one gay recruiter in America. He did one thing that was gay friendly. So that makes him the exact opposite. If you don't hold their views to the 100%, then you're the exact opposite. And that qualifies for Bush. Don't get me wrong. Anyone who's going to diss Bush is scoring points with me, especially when they do it in original ways. But they are filling, filling, filling. I learned about Taoism and other Eastern ideas that say you need some emptiness in your life. You can't fill everything for good things to come in. So they're blocking all these good things because they don't allow any space to be empty. They can't see things as they are. They have to fill them with their interpretations. Everything is subjective. And that reminds me of my fundamentalist upbringing. It's hard to talk to my dad about anything back when I was talking to him because he has to have an opinion about anything. Some things you just want to read to learn about them. But they have to have an opinion. George Bush is not the most anti-gay person out there. He's not the most pro-gay person. He's somewhere in the middle. So Westboro Baptist Church is the antithesis of emptiness. 